How's it going everyone? JKXVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again with a another brand new update video. As you know, every month I talk about the upcoming update after watching the hour to two hour long live stream. I get all of the information from it, from Forza themselves, all crammed into a little video so all of you know what new cars and what new features are coming in the next update. Today we're talking about update 8. We've got quite a few new cars coming in this update, some of them are pretty cool, we've got lots of new features, some of them are highly requested and lots of new bug fixes as well so it's pretty good. Before we get into it, I don't see this very often but I want to say if you're new around here, click the subscribe button. We're very close to 100,000 subscribers and I'm looking forward to doing the 2,000 mile world record race right before we hit 100k. So we should hit 100k live. So if you want to help me out with that, click the subscribe button. It'd be much appreciated. I never really say that very often, but I just wanted to say it today for once. First of all, I'm going to talk about the new exclusive cars that are coming. Cars that have never been in the game before that we're now going to have access to. We are getting the Mercedes X-Class, a big 4x4 Mercedes. I've got a picture of it on screen. That is coming and this will be available through an exclusive challenge in the festival playlist very quick and easy to get actually not a difficult one we're also getting the ferrari 599 xx evolution which is an exciting addition this one you will get for 50 percent completion in one of the seasons i don't think it's next week i think it's the week after whatever season that is but at 50 percent season completion you'll get the ferrari 599 xx evo and it's been told that this might be the new best Goliath car, so it could be a pretty good car as well. We're getting the Mercedes AMG GT four-door coupe, the 2018. This is a cool car that's going to come as well. This will be available straight away after the update at 50% completion of the, the next season. So this season we're getting the GT4 at 50%, and then after that it's the Ferrari 599XX. And then we're also getting the Plymouth, Plymouth Fury as well kind of a, an old kind of car this is available through one event in the next season with the ferrari 599xx as well and we're also getting the voxel corsa finally the 2009 one which fits britain perfectly this will be available in the last season so about four weeks from now at 50 percent completion along with a rabbit outfit as well at 80 percent completion but the Lycan Hypersport and the Twin Mill are also going to be available through the festival playlist. So if you don't have any of those, you can get those for free through the festival playlist. But car-wise, that's basically it. Apart from a new car pack we're going to be getting. We're getting a brand new car pack called the Barrett Jackson Car Pack, I think it was called. Which is going to contain three or four kind of old-fashioned Fords, which look kind of cool. They remind me of Hot Wheels cars. There's going to be stuff like the 1932 Ford Double Down. One called the Atomic Punk a Ford Roadster Hula Girl, and they look kind of weird to be honest, and some of them are actually quite fast as well, which is good. Um, this car pack will be available for free for any car pass owners, which is very good news, um, but if you don't have the car pass, obviously you'll have to pay for the car pack. Car-wise, that is pretty much it. There's not much else coming. However, features-wise, there's some good stuff here. We are getting Drift Camera. Drift camera has actually been added. As you know, Forza Motorsport 7 just got given the drift angle camera and it has come straight to Horizon 4 in the new update, which is going to come later this week. So that's something to look forward to. We're getting drift camera and along with drift camera, we're getting the drift adventure as well, which I mentioned before. Now, drift adventure works like this. You can choose rear wheel drive or all wheel drive only. You get put into three races. Each race is seven minutes long and you get get given seven minutes to do as many laps as you want or as few laps as you want all it depends on is how many how many drift score you get in a lap and the ranking is based on the best lap with the most drift score so if even if you only do two laps in seven minutes if you get more drift score than anyone else did in one lap that'll put you at the top so don't worry about rushing through it take your time if you want to just get as most drift score as possible and also a good thing there's no collisions in the drift adventure either there will also be ranked adventure as well or ranked drift adventure i should say so that's exciting to look forward to online adventure changes there's quite a lot of changes here for example there is there is going to be no collision in the first 30 seconds of each race in the online adventure from now on so you don't have to worry about all the collisions at the first couple of corners now i heard something about the dirt online adventures they have removed s2 class and added b class so you'll need some b class cars for that now and for road racing and street racing adventures, Free Roam Rush has been removed. This was a big wanted feature and it is now gone. 
Some other features we're getting in this update, wall riding is unfortunately not being fixed in this update. However, it's practically confirmed for the next one. I know they've been saying this for a while now, but they've said that wall riding should be fixed in the next update. And they're also doing an even bigger anti-griefing system. So they might actually stop ramming as well. So not only are they gonna fix wall riding, they might fix ramming and stuff like that. So it's, it's gonna be good. If they do it properly, it could be good. Some other new features we'll be getting, wheel spacers. There has been wheel spacers added to over 100 new cars to basically add it to every car that it's even justifiable on, so that's good. Now, if you're a big painter and if you're a big design creator on Forza Horizon 4, this next feature will be good for you. You can now do a layer mask, something that's been on Photoshop for many years now. Uh, if you look on screen, you can get loads of stickers and then get another sticker put it over the other stickers and it will cut through all the stickers below to the bodywork. So if you want to mask through layers really easily, it is now going to be possible. Anyone who's interested in designing and stickers will know what I mean, but that is going to be good. And it's also been rumoured that we're getting more body kits as well. We weren't told which car we're getting the body kits for, but more body kits may be coming in the new update for cars that are already in the game or maybe some new cars as well. We're not quite sure which ones, but more body kits are coming. That's pretty cool. So in this update, we're getting a few new cars. We're getting a brand new car pack. We're getting complete new feature, Drift Adventure. We're getting a Drift Camera. We're getting online adventure changes, fixes, additions like wheel spaces and body kits. So it's not that bad, to be honest with you. I was hoping for maybe one or two new major features like Drift Adventure, but overall, they're cracking the fixes pretty well. And I'm so glad they've added the drift camera because that was something really cool that Forza Motorsport 7's just had as well. But as I said, we're getting the, the Ferrari 59 XX Evo, the Vauxhall Corsa, and the GT4 Mercedes-Benz, the Mercedes-Benz X-Class as well, along with all the car pass cars as well, which will be uh, for free for any car pass owners. But that's pretty much it for this update. We were given a bit of information on the next update, 9. Um, I'll go through that now. We were told that Custom Adventure should be a thing by then uh, we weren't given much information on what custom adventure is but i think it's going to be where you can choose what car class you can choose where you want to do the racing and you'll get put with people that want to do the same thing and as i said earlier hopefully the war riding fix and the gr anti-griefing system will be in the next update as well which should be a big difference to online racing i think that's pretty much it guys um, i'd really wanted to smash through it as quick as possible because i know not everyone likes sitting there for an hour and nearly two hours on the Forza live stream, listening to them saying it, having to watch all the races. So I've got everything together into this little video, everything that's coming in the next update. And this is practically everything. So yeah, let me know what you're looking forward to the most in the next update. Leave a like if you've enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content, and I'll see you all later.